Everybody's got their thing, right? Something that really inspires you. Nature makes you feel alive and connected to the world. Architecture helps you marvel at all the things that humans can do. Music can make you feel a lot of things. The whole range of emotions, especially if you own every single Dashboard Confessional album known to man. That the shooting is over. I mean, all that stuff is fine, but... Baseball cards can do it all, yeah. baby. That's it to the bank. So I'm a huge baseball fan. It could just be me. But I do think there's something to be said for how cool baseball cards are. And how anyone can find just a teensy bit of inspiration from a dusty box of old ball cards. The fonts are so perfect. The colors are incredible. The old ones especially Oh, they are so beautiful and so, so simple. The great ones don't try too hard. It's the same as designing anything else. Sometimes it's harder to make something simple than something that's not. One of my favorite things about baseball cards, or baseball in general, is the history. And baseball cards are little time capsules that tell those stories. They tell that history from every era, one card at a time. The time Michael Jordan quit the Bulls to play in the minor leagues. When Miguel Cabrera hit for the Triple Crown, the first one in 50 years. Stories about the good guys. Stories about the villains. The time when a guy named Ken Griffey played on the same team as a future superstar, his son, the kid. Stories of teams and venues that are long gone but still loved by their city. And have I ever told you about the time where Billy Ripken went to picture day with a bat that said F face on it. <laughs> the standard baseball card is two and a half by three and a half inches. Fitting a bunch of info in a tiny space is something that every designer has to do. Whether you're making a magazine, a website, an iPhone app, a newspaper, a t-shirt, whatever, you have to work under rules, and you have to work under constraints. And I just appreciate how much awesome shit that they pack into these tiny three-inch spaces. You'll see tables and tables of data, illustrations and comics, player bios. Some can even pack 20 years worth of stats on the back. Sorry. I'm sorry, sir. That's okay. Excuse me. Designers, especially in tech, Lo lo love to talk about design systems. Using reusable components and libraries of your fonts and colors to keep everything consistent. You know what's a design system? The 1987 set of Topps baseball cards. You know what else? The 1981 set of Topps baseball cards. They have a shared layout. They use different colors, logos, or graphics for the different brands. But for speed and for consistency, they're all very, very similar. It's a design system. The last thing I'll say is that baseball cards are just fun. There's weird stuff in every set. People who aren't even baseball players, quirky pictures, lots of big heads. I love big heads. Fun designs and fun styles, sets that were made by random corporate sponsors, novelty shit like pieces of real jerseys, or that 90s parallax thing. Sometimes they're cut wrong, or they're interesting shapes. Itty bitty tiny boys. Baseball cards aren't afraid to have fun, and that is why I love them. Ugh. This guy is so lame. Yeah, I am. But creative people find inspiration from all over the place. And most of the time, it's from something completely unrelated to what you're working on. 
So I guess all I'm saying is, go out and buy some baseball cards. There are worse ways to waste $2. Or go make some of your own. You do not know joy until you've opened a set of 50 custom baseball cards with your face on them. These are fun.